Week one of high school football was a lot of fun, but my gut tells me week two is going to be even better. You saw it late in games in the season openers as teams began to gel. You can see it in practice. The rust is falling off right in front of your eyes. Let's start this party and have some fun. Here we go. I was at Carbondale High School and let the dogs out. Here we go. They're fired up. The Terriers looking to get in the win column hosting Centralia. Darius Raglan airs one out. Hooks up with Demarcus Funches. That's a touchdown. They're up 7-3 and there's plenty to cheer about early on. Now down 9-7. Set, seven. Terriers on the move. Raglan over the middle to Lamarck Threadgill. It's a foot race. They bring him down at the 23. And Gabe Hilliard caps the drive off with a three-yard touchdown run. 14-9 Terriers. But now they're down 15-14. And they've got an answer. Raglan going deep to one of his favorite receivers. Wow! Funch is laying out for the grab. It's fourth down. Carbondale goes for it. Raglan calls his own number. They go for two, and they were up 22-15, but oh, Centralia rallies back for a 36-28 win. We showed you some South 7 football. There's plenty of talent in the Black Diamond. Let's start with a pair of undefeated teams squaring off. So here we go. Chester at Johnston City. Both teams entered week two, 1-0. And, oh. and Johnston City is sniffing the end zone. Austin Brown hands it off to Sam Harris who muscles his way to the one. They go right back to him and he eases his way in for six on the very next play. They go for two and execute the pitch to perfection. Austin Brown to Sam Harris. So they're up eight nothing. Second quarter though, here comes Chester. Dylan Kelkoff hands off to Jordan Meredith and they're in business. And a little trickery, reverse play, fooling everyone, and they throw it on top of it. Cooper Eggmeyer says, hey, look what I got. Mom, I'm going to be on TV. They're on the board. It's an 8-7 game. Still second quarter. Indians respond. Isaiah Watson with the stop and go. Goodbye. 31-yard scamper. Touchdown, Watson. And Johnston City rolls past Chester 32-15. And Kendra Sheehan is on hand and joins us with more. Hey, Jason, Johnson City head coach Todd Thomas told his guys after the game how proud he was of this group, the resilience, the way they played. He says, we clean up a few things and we can be a top 10 team in the state. And Jason, they looked good tonight. They were efficient on offense. They got the stops on defense when necessary to grind out a big win. I just can't say enough about them. We're young, we're inexperienced. But it's just like everybody seems to step up and rally behind each other. And uh, play, we play hard for each other this year, and I'm proud of them. As a team, we kind of take it personal. We feel like we kind of slept on. And uh, last week, really didn't feel like we got the attention we wanted. And uh, we played, you know, a bigger team this week, and we felt great. You know, we came out here prepared all week really hard, practiced really hard every single day. And, uh, you know, we did what we could do, and we got a big dub today. So it feels great. I have the best linemen in the whole Black Diamond Conference in all of Southern Illinois. I mean, I wouldn't score if it weren't for those guys. They, they're, they're amazing. Coach Thomas also told his guys to enjoy the win tonight, enjoy the win this weekend, but it's right back to work on Monday. They've got to prepare for Cesar Valier next weekend. Porting in Johnson City, Kendra Sheehan, News 3 Sports. Great job as always. And speaking of Cesar Valier, they're hosting Christopher Ziegler Royalton and CZR going deep. Here we go, Collins Veda. 30 yard connection to Cole Freeman. That's a touchdown. It's 8 0. Fast forward to the second quarter. And they're not done. Sveda, a 48 yard hookup to Elijah Reeves. He fumbles at the 35, picked up by Cole Freeman. Either way, you slice it. That's a touchdown, 16 0. And CZR, you could tell they're in control. And they love throwing that deep ball. Landon Bate. He's on TV with a highlight touchdown. It's 24-0. Bearcats go on to win 30-8. Let's get you caught up on other scores. El Dorado gets by Hamilton County 14-12. Mount Carmel clobbers Anna Jonesboro 41-8. Mount Vernon cruises past Altoff Catholic 51-28. Now tomorrow at 2, Marion looks to improve the 2-0, but Cahokia will be another test for the Wildcats. Last week, Marion scored 65 points against Carbondale in week one. The offense was explosive as the game wore on. Hunter Simmons made his Marion debut at quarterback, threw for nearly 400 yards. His go-to receiver, Vincent Newsom, had nearly 200 receiving yards. We're excited. We, uh, after the game Friday, I think everybody's itching to get back out here. Came in Saturday, uh, Saturday morning and watched some film. Everybody's fired up. 
and everybody's just really to, ready to get back out here on the field and get going. They're always one of the fastest teams we'll play. Uh, arguably maybe one of the two or three most physical teams that we will play. Uh, we have had what Coach Wimberley, my, one of my defensive coaches, calls 15-round boxing matches against them, and, and a lot of them have gone to the 15th round. And, and uh, it's always a hard-fought game. It's always a physical game. We've had some great finishes. Um, so it, it ought to be a great ball game again. I think the two teams are, are, on paper at least, matched pretty well from returning starters from a year ago. And, and they've got some outstanding football players, as they always do. So I think it'll be a big challenge for us at home. Heron is coming off a big 14-13 come from behind win over Murfreesboro. Now the Tigers lost a lot of starters, especially on offense from last year. But the guys that didn't have experience, well, it was limited experience. But it really is next man up at Heron. And for this group to be down 13 up and at the half to state runner up, well, guess what? They found a way to win, and that was impressive. I mean, you just got to be ready for whenever the world takes you, you know. You just got to be ready to go whenever the coaches tell you to. And it's pretty much just like that. You got to be ready at all times. Our mindset is just to get better. I mean, it was still sloppy, but it was a win. So going into this Mass Act game, it's our senior night and homecoming. We just got to focus on the game and win. Last week, we introduced you to our Senior Showcase segment. It turned out to be a lot of fun. I've got a new group of seniors this week, their chance to shine. My name is Hunter Simmons. I'm a quarterback at Marion High School. And like I say, it was really nice to get back out there this week and play well. My name is Trent Shepard. Not only do I make tackles, but I hit home runs. <laughs> My name is Cale Newell. I'm an outside linebacker for John City High School, and I'm the meanest 150-pounder in the conference. My name is Trent Bennett. I'm from Heron High School, and I play left guard. I'm just thankful to have a season and, and be able to play in the trenches with my hog squad every game of this year. My name's Aiden Newcomb. Uh, I'm from Benton, and uh, I always have the most drip on the field. And for those of you over 40 like me and are lost and are asking, what did he say, drip what? Translation, he has swagger, a sense of style. Are you with me now? Now, I love Newell's answer as well. Meanest 150 pounder. His guys always joke with him and say, don't turn sideways or we won't see you. But I've seen him hit, and he can back up his statement. I love his sense of humor and creativity from our local guys. Now, 